What's up, guys? It's your boy Chaos, bringing you guys another video. Bring you guys the first game, first games one through five of this past weekend league, man. Uh, this weekend league was weird, man. It was weird. It had a lot of weird stuff going on. It uh, a lot of fumbles, a lot of weird dragging, as you see right there. A lot of weird stuff. Um, but if you guys already didn't, haven't already, make sure I check out the previous video I put up. I'll put it in the card above me right now. Um, it is one of these five games. Um, and it was an awesome, awesome game, and you guys will learn a lot from it. I personally learned a lot from it, so I know you guys will too. Um, so make sure you guys check that out, and um, really, really like give it a good chance. Like actually, like try to learn something from. It. I think you guys can. So make sure you guys check that out. And uh, something also, we uh, we um, well, I know I mentioned that last video. This weekend we're running trips tight in, which we always run, but we're actually trying out three three five. As you guys see, we're not running big nickel, not running three three five on. I'm still messing around with different defense man, trying to see what I like, what I don't like. Um, I know this is what I personally feel like right now. Um, I feel like the best, um, the best overall blitz when you're sending five is three three five on. The best um, shed defense if you're only sending three or four the whole game, not trying to blitz is big nickel over G. The best in between, Nickel 335. So right now I'm messing with that, seeing how I like it. Um, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Um, but right there, we have a nice little post across the middle. Um, we're trying out that too. We have Elite Route Specialist now on our outside guy in trip side, and that's something new. Um, I'm messing around with that some more, and I will be adding that to my ebook probably in a week or two as I learn to see how much I like it and don't like it. I'm just still messing around with it. Um, I want to see all the route combos I can do from it, and and we'll go from there. But I will be I will be adding that to the ebook. Guys that have purchased it already will get it, and guys that um, post purchase in the future will get it as well. It's just gonna be an update. Um, but right there, I don't know how we didn't get an animation on that corner route. The deep blue comes all the way back to pick it. It was rather weird, but it happens, man. Whatever. Um, and uh, he ends up getting a stop. But we're kind of in control of this game. We're up 10-0. But as I was talking about before, man, this weekend league was weird. I ended up not finishing it. I only played, I think, 18 games. Uh, I played the first five. And then on Sunday, I got back from my ba from my basketball trip. And uh, I, um, what am I trying to say here? Oh, I had to play 20 games in one day. And I just wasn't feeling it. I was like, you know what, man? Um... After, after I was done the 18, I was like, you know what? I'm just not trying to play anymore. So I got off. Um, I was 16 and two, I believe. But it was just, it was just, I don't know. It just wasn't the funnest weekend. And like, there was a lot of fumbles. Like I said, there was the, the drag forward animation thing. So you see a fumble right there. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on. So the ags were always bad. And I just, I just didn't have the energy to play 20 games in one day. I just didn't have it. Um, I'm sure you guys can, can uh, relate to that. So. Regardless, in a game that we've dominated, it's 10-3. Um, we fumbled once. We had a weird pick. Um, but we're messing with, This was the first or second game that I had this elite route combo. So I've, Elite route specials, I should say. So I was messing around with it, seeing what it could do, if it could beat man, stuff like that. All the different setups with it. But um, something else I would mention is, I don't know if it was because of the fumbles. I feel like it was mostly because of the fumbles and stuff. But I felt like this week was, like, really weird for... For, um... What am I trying? Oh yeah, for like no one was like quitting. Like they were like, and they shouldn't quit. They were all close games. It was really, really weird. As we super ag on Randy Moss doing Randy Moss like things, but um, he'll quit off that, of course. Um, I just felt like every game was like a nail biter. Like right there, like that 17-3 game. Like that guy should have never quit. Like he was in the game the whole time. There was no reason for him to quit that whole time. So I don't know, man. I feel like the games were longer, which is why this video is just a little bit longer. Um. But as I, as always, man, I didn't mention this, but if you guys like what I'm running on offense and defense, um, the defense 335, I had YouTube videos on it. I'm probably going to release a, a second video soon on it. Kinda, I'm going to update it on what I'm doing, a couple new things. Um, however, I also have my offensive ebook, which is what I'm running. Trips tight end. It's awesome. It's a very extensive ebook. If you guys want to see that, check out the description below. Uh, it's always in there. So. Back to this video, 335, we actually had some decent success with this video. I felt I got pretty comfortable in it as the weekend went on. I still wasn't 100% comfortable, but I got comfortable. And as you can see, another fumble. Now, you guys are probably going to say, oh, well, like you're spinning wildly. Of course, you're going to fumble. Like, yeah, that's true. 
That's if we just whiff on a pick. Um, but the, the game, the way the game was, like you could do that. Like I could spin every play, and we get a pick right there, big time play. Uh, but like you could do that. I could spin whenever I wanted. So it's just something you have to get used to, and that's annoying to me. Uh, but even without the spins, like the fumbles were wild. Like, it's just, it just, I don't know. It was out of control. I was a little frustrated by it, but we're all positivity the rest of the way, man. No more negativity. I'm off that. Fumbles suck. Let's move on. Game three. We're two and zero. We're doing well. Um, right here. Uh, Let's show him kicking off. I'm not sure why I show this kickoff here, so we're just going to watch it together as a team and surprise ourselves. I'm um, commentating this after it was cut like four days later. That's why I show it. Shockeroo. Fumble. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I knew there was a reason I showed it, man. I couldn't remember if I got big yards or what, but second and ten here. Nice little dot. He gains about nine yards. Um, yeah, but make sure you guys take a look at this 335. I feel like I did some cool... Th I was able to do some cool things as he lasers me right there, so... The fact that he just lowballed that makes me think this guy's a pretty good player. In addition to the fact that I fumbled. So I'm in a rough spot now. Third and ten, he gets an A gap. So I'm going to punt to him. I haven't seen him play offense yet. We're in a bad spot right here, to be completely honest with you. So I'm down a stop because I fumbled the kickoff. And then he scores a touchdown easily. And then I have to punt, so I'm down a second stop. I'm down two whole stops right now. I need to get a stop. Um, and he seems to know what he's doing. He's in bunch. Right there, we get a big-time shed, and we get a uh, intentional grounding. So that was huge. He lost 14 right there. We're sending five right here. Feeling pretty good about that 5-2, and we and we lock up. So great defense there. Um, third and 34. Nothing he can really do right here. He throws the playmaker, and somehow, some way, he gets a hand on it. That has to be a pick, but he ends up punting the ball away. So big-time stop. We kind of recovered from our, from our fumble and our stop and then we get a touchdown right back with calvin johnson 90 break tackle it's a glitch guys you guys need that 90 day break tackle it's very 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 good awesome thing right there oh my god <sighs> frustrating 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 let me chill though let me chill it's pretty good defense though i was happy about it right here he gets his crosser and we just couldn't get back to it i thought we had that we didn't get it though we forced a fourth down he probably should kick his three here because he's still up a stop if you don't remember uh and some reason he goes for it instead of taking his three and he gets a playmaker so tough break there i thought we played pretty good defense adjusted pretty well not upset about that he just had all time all the time in the world and he was able to make something happen right there high balls in the back of the end zone and once again we're down seven so we're down another stop however since this is ball is ha ball at half we have a good chance here to milk the rest of this clock and make it so he doesn't get an extra possession so if I score too quick, he'll have an extra possession to go up a field goal or something, and then he'll have the ball at half. So I want this to be the last possession, like 100%. I don't want to give him the ball back. If I do, I want it to be low time, maybe low timeouts. I want this to be the last possession. I'm going to try to play it that way. However, he gives me an easy little dot over there, and we've gotten out of bounds on both of these. So we're doing an awful job of milking, to be honest with you. I didn't play this drive very well, but ideally, in hindsight, I would... Um, I would have milked a lot more, but we have Randy Moss on our team, and he's not on their defense, so we're getting ags. But if I, if, like I said, if I had it to do over again, I would have 100% milked more clock and not given him this chance. But we get a sack on first down, which is huge. Let me cross man him right here. Pretty much bags everything, and uh, he does a dumb play right there. Takes a hit with Vic. So we have came full circle on this game, boys. We fumbled the opening kickoff. He had a great opportunity to have full control of the game. Instead, we're going to be up seven at half. He made a huge mistake. Now, knowing what I know now, even though I got the touchdown to go up seven because I gave him time to make a mistake, I still would have milked before the half. Um, it's just a smarter play, um, and you have to play the game the right way. Otherwise, you're going to you're gonna end up losing. Right there, he has a nice little dot, and we can't knock it out. Um, so it gives him a chance at a field goal here. We're going to try to get a stop. I feel like we did a great job on defense. But we bumped our man-to-man -man just a tad bit too much, and he wasn't able to queue up the crosser. So he ends up getting a guaranteed field goal here if he doesn't do anything stupid. Um, but he does something pretty stupid, makes it a tough field goal. And uh, next play here, he should probably just kick it and not risk it, but instead he goes back to something and takes another sack. So this guy literally could not have ended this half worse, guys. He's up seven. And it's my ball. I go get seven. He messes up and gives me the ball back. And I get another seven. He gets himself a guaranteed three and screws it up. 
So he literally could have been up at least 17, 14 and a half. And instead, it's 21, 14, me. Um, right there, now I do throw a pick. I have to tell you, it was a scientific evaluation. So I know I, we've had this conversation in the chat before. We've gone back and forth on it. Can Calvin Johnson jump on that S post? I came to the conclusion he absolutely cannot. And so I wanted to test Odell there. And Odell, I've ran it twice for him, and he's jumped on both of them. So that's just something to note right there. Um, I'm pretty sure Calvin Johnson's too tall to jump on that route. 6'5 is the new glitch. So right there, awful pocket by me. I back up the whole time. I had a wide open dot. I just couldn't throw it because my pocket's awful. Uh, but right here, going to my new favorite dot. Well, not my new favorite dot, but one of my top three dots. It's counter go with a new setup. And we get a huge gain, boys. We're going to get a touchdown. Um, third and 15, straight laser on that sideline. Big time dot. Um, next play here, he's got guys going everywhere. He's got a curl. He's got a crosser. And somehow, I don't, you see me scratching my head. I'm like, how the heck did he fit that route in? But this has actually been an insane game, guys. Like, this guy had complete control of it, and he gave me it all back. Like, he, he should have played this game better. Um, but regardless, it's 28-14 here. Um, and uh, we're giving him this drag. We're just trying to, we're really just trying to make him work. We're up two possessions. We're not really trying to make him do anything. At, like just, well, we don't get, want to give up any deep touchdowns. Just make him work the whole drive. And right there, he tries to low pull that pass that he did early in the game. Hits his lineman in the back of the head because of gunslinger. And we're getting the tip pick. We have t we have tip drill on our D lineman. Um, so we're gonna get that pick a decent amount of the time as we hit our nice little. Nice little post over the middle, like that. I like that a lot. Um, and uh, next play here, fourth and ten. Um, we're going to pay a slot corner. Probably like the worst play call I could have made, but at this point, I don't really think I was like paying too much attention to it, just because, um, because it didn't really matter. Like the game was over. Uh, as we get a shed sack right there by Kevin Green. Kevin Green. I know I give you guys like little testimonies for players that I like every week. Kevin Green. If you guys are rushing him outside, as you guys saw him right there, he got a big hit on the Q QB as he hit it right, uh, threw it right there. Kevin Green was awesome this week. He might have been better than LT, no cap. He was fighting. Like, if you just watch him, like, all week long, he's just getting edge rush, edge rush, edge rush, just working his way towards the QB. Just was awesome. So, if you guys are looking for an edge rusher, Mr. Ultimate Legend Kevin Green is it. I'll tell you guys that right now. He's very, very good. Um... Next game here, man, we're 3-0. We had to fight a little bit for that one. But like I said, man, like all these games, it was just like no one had any reason to quit. It was so weird. And it just made the games take so much longer. Like that's another reason why I didn't finish. It was just it wasn't just frustration from the fumbles. It was just not being able to finish. And right here, this is the game, guys. This is the king grouper. Once I, I'm going to put the second card in this again. I put it in the beginning of the video. I'll put it again now in the top right corner. If you guys haven't seen it, go check my latest video. It's going to have a lot more to this game. I'm only showing the scoring plays because I don't want to give anything away. Um, I just want to show you guys that it happened and that you guys know it's there. But if you guys want to see the full gameplay of this, I go into it my full coaching series. It's episode two of all the different re like ways that I reasons why I do what I do. Um, I have a method behind almost all my madness. Make sure you guys check that out. Very good video. Um, and then you come back to this one and watch the rest of this one. You're saying get the minutes up, but uh, but this is all my scoring plays. Like I said before, um, it was an awesome, awesome game. You see me pumped up on that one. Um, I had to fight all the way back in this game. It was a great game. Just adds another tribute to all these games that are literally taking. Just every game took a long time. Like this is the first five guys, and usually, usually when you guys see the games one through five, man, it's like, it's like uh. Like, Kent's just blowing everybody out, right? I just, I win every game. And it's just a bad, like, really bad players. And I win them all 30 0, and they, or they just quit. Like, every single one of these, like, came down to the end. Like, they, they might have ended up being two possessions, but, like, they were winnable games for both sides. So, right there, you see my game winning pick. It was a pretty awesome game. You guys really should check out that video. So, moving on to the next one. 5 0, or sorry, excuse me, 4 0 now off that one. Um, having a great, great, great week. We're going on to the last game. Um, this was the last one that I played before I went on my trip. So the rest of these games were all in one day. And you're going to see I was very tired. <laughs> um, but right here, his first drive, he's got the ball first. It's a nice little drag on third down. Moves the chains for him. 
Third and ten here. We force another third down. He's in five wide, so I'm going to just play coverage and try to lock everything up here. Um, he's got nothing open, nothing open, nothing open. Ends up just taking his flat, and uh, <laughs> that wasn't even the bad drag animation. That was literally just... Like, that was in the game before. That was just a crazy drag. I don't know how he got that first down. You should never get a first down on that that route combo that he just threw right there. If he ends up throwing that pass. But regardless, we end up uh, we, we end up giving up seven. So, once again, just another game where it's like, dude, like this game's going to take forever again. There was just no quitting games, which is why I only played five the first day. I knew on Thursday that I was going to be gone Friday and Saturday. So, I was like, okay, well, I need to play a lot more games. No, well, it's just like weird because... Um, these games just took so long. I was like, I, I can't play anymore. I'm tired. And, uh, but it was whatever, man. Um, this, both our first two drives took a really, really long time, as you guys see. Like, this is the second drive of the game, and, uh, it's already the two-minute warning. And I ended up fumbling the ball, but, which is pretty unlucky. Like, I told you guys, fumbles were bad all week, but we end up, uh, we end up forcing a, a quick punt. No, it doesn't even gain any yards or anything. It's just no first down. It's just a quick, easy punt. So we get the ball right back. We need to get some type of points. We need at least three before half. It's our ball at halftime, so we're in good shape. If we just go get three, we'll, we'll just go get seven out of halftime. We'll be up We'll be up four, no problems. But right here, we still have two timeouts left with 30 seconds, so I like where we're at. And uh, I'm going to take my drag and get out of bounds. Get a new set of downs going. Um, not sure what happened there. I guess I might have messed up. I think I messed up right there. That's my bad, guys. Uh, I must have cut the touchdown. But just know, we threw a straight laser to get to that touchdown <laughs> but no um somehow we scored and uh but we end up going to halftime so it's not a big deal like i said it's our ball at halftime so um we need to get some type of points field goal's okay since i got seven before field goal's okay so we throw another laser man i'm telling you guys that new setup from counter goes good man i'm telling you you guys be on the lookout the update's coming probably in a week or two a week or two just be on the lookout i'll announce it but just be on the lookout um, but we need at least three on this drive, so I need to make sure I don't make a mistake here. With in the third quarter, the way this game's gone, you don't want to leave this position with no points. You need something. So we end up getting to the one yard line, and you guys all know what that means. If you get to the one yard line on this patch, you get some sneak, and if you get lucky and stop it, you get another sneak, and if you stop that, you get two more. So sneak, sneak, sneak. If you guys get down inside the two, three yard line, sneak. I'm going to be trying to find some good defense for Sneak, and I'm going, to, I'm going to put it on YouTube the second I get it. So just be on the lookout for that as well. No guarantees that I'm going to find it, but I'm going to look for it. Now I'm going to give it to you guys if I get it. So just be ready for it. Right here, just making him work. I don't mind letting him get into the red zone. Not letting him, but if he gets in the red zone, I'm not tripping on it, considering the fact that it's hard to score in the red zone. He needs seven. Three doesn't really help him here. If he gets three, like... For him, I'm almost never kicking three in this spot, just simply because if you kick three, like, you still have to get seven because you're down four. It's not like if you kick three, okay, now I'm only down three. Like, you're still down four, so you still need seven. So, he ends up throwing a pick six. We finish him off with that. Um, you know how it goes, man. Pick six, you out of there. So, we're 5-0, and oh, guys. Great games all around. Five down to the wire games where, like, you could have gone either way. So, make sure you guys check out um, my latest video, the one before this. And uh, make sure you guys be on the lookout for um, for the for the ebook updates coming in a week or two. And make sure you guys go check out my Nickel 335 and the update for that coming as well. Um, if you guys wanted to do that, but hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.